Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a lot to get done today. We are actually going to be painting our theater room. We also have some other small projects around the house to get done. But before we jump into all of that, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Works for teaming up with me on today's video because this portion of this video is sponsored by Maker X by Works. The Maker X by Works is a tool system I recently learned about and it's really neat because sometimes I'll want to create projects but I feel a bit overwhelmed using Kyle's tools. So the Maker X is an all-in-one tool system that customizes your needs through all the accessories they have. They have a rotary tool, an angle grinder, airbrush, and a heat gun just to name a few. They're also portable and compact and they're the perfect go anywhere creative tool. And it has plenty of power because the same battery that powers the Maker X system can be used on any 20 volt or 40 volt garden tool, power tool, or lifestyle product in the PowerShare system. So I'm going to show you a project that I found on Pinterest that I've been wanting to make and I'll show you exactly how to do it using the Maker X. So for this project you're going to need a piece of wood, the Maker X rotary tool, the angle grinder, and the Hub X to power it all and allow speed control. You'll also want some stainer paint if you want to finish it that way. Now to start you're going to use the angle grinder with a sanding attachment to sand the corners and the edges of your board smooth. Then using the rotary tool I'm just going to carve out different designs in the wood I wanted to make this look very organic so I'm just kind of making up the design as I go then once I have everything carved out I'm just going to give it a quick sand and wipe down and that way I can add some stain to finish the look then the very last thing I'm doing is using the wood burner tool to personalize the back side of this piece and I'm all done. I love how this project turned out and still cannot believe that I made it myself. If you want to check out Maker X, you can go to getmakerx.com or click the link down below. And again, thanks to Maker X by Works for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to my regular content. Okay, so I'm going to show you the colors that we're using, but our plan is to basically paint all the walls that are like this light blue color, alabaster, which is like an off-white color. It's the same color we did in the boys' room, and by itself, I feel like it's very close to white, but once you have like other colors and tones in there, then it actually is really great and we like it. And then on this dark wall, we are going to do the color Hail Navy. It's very similar to the poppy seed that we used in our Utah house. So I think that'll be good here. We just really liked having an accent wall and especially with having the two TVs that we game on. It just kind of like makes them not as like obvious that there's two TVs in here. So I feel like it looks better. And then the reason that we didn't want to go with like a tan or a gray color or something in here is because we did that in our Utah home and because our couch is gray and then the carpet is tan, everything just blended together. So that's what we wanna do like white on the walls or like the off-white and I think that will kind of break everything up and just make things feel nice and fresh and light in here but still kind of give some contrast. So I'll turn you around, show you the colors and then kind of give you some pans of the room. I wanna hear you say yeah, yeah. the stars I see everything that led to where we are and I wouldn't change a thing under the moon all the wishing that we did is coming true like I got magic up my sleeve and you can't all right so the first thing that we're gonna be doing in here is actually taking everything out and then that way it will just make painting a lot faster and smoother not having to like balance between all of the furniture on the floor so i think that'll just make it a lot faster so we're gonna go ahead and start clearing out this room So I just want to say I know that it can be so overwhelming picking paint colors or even just starting on a big project like painting a space or a room, but I guarantee it will make such a huge difference every single time we paint. I am like talking to Kyle and I'm like, man, maybe we should just put everything back and cancel this. Like it's so much work and it takes so long, but also 
as soon as we're done or even like partway through, I'm always just in awe of how much of a huge impact it makes. Having your walls painted a different color, it completely changes the space. It changes the feel of the room. It just, it makes such a huge impact. So if you have been on the fence about painting a space in your home or if you're renting and can't paint, but you want to add some temporary wallpaper, I know it's going to be a lot of work, but really it will make such a huge impact. So go to the paint store, pick out some paint colors, look on Pinterest, find some things you like and go ahead and just tackle the project it will be so worth it. You can't fight the moonlight, I think it's moving in. The feeling you're giving me, I'm giving it. You got me dancing with no shoes tonight. <laughs> so much more effort than you ever think it will just like taking everything out of a room but we are here we have nothing left in the room just an empty canvas so let's start painting we've been driving way too fast down this two-lane street windows down your feet yeah, they're hanging on now. The wind has got you here. We're just free falling fools in route nowhere. From Los Angeles, singing to be the soul driving through the night in the night. If I should roll in with the hash town. So definitely the worst part of painting is the prep work. I feel like it just takes the most time. It's definitely the most tedious. And I think because you're not actually seeing that progress, it just feels like wasted time. So honestly, I think if I could actually avoid all the prep work, I wouldn't even mind painting near as much. It's just all the prep totally drives me nuts. But the good thing is once you get that done, it seems like you are like pretty smooth sailing from there. Also, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but we did go ahead and schedule some painters to come in and paint in early January. The rest of our home, like our main living area, is just because we have the really tall ceilings, and so we can't quite paint them ourselves, but we do have them all scheduled to come early January and we have kind of narrowed it down. I don't think we're gonna do the alabaster or like an off-white, but I think we're gonna do the Revere Pewter, or I've also been looking into a color called Pale Oak. So if you guys have any thoughts on anything, this will be one of the last chances for us to kind of go through different paint colors. So any other suggestions, we are definitely open, but I'm so excited to see the impact of new paint in the rest of our home. So let me know in the comments who else finds watching paintings so satisfying. I don't know what it is. 
I know people say like watching paint dry is boring and that might be true, but watching someone else paint, especially when it's sped up a little bit, I feel like it is just so satisfying to me. I could definitely just watch painting videos all day. There is something just so satisfying about it to me. But one thing that I did want to mention to you guys, because anytime you see us painting, we usually have this little edger tool and it makes the whole painting process go so much quicker. So I definitely cannot recommend this enough. I believe Kyle got this off of Amazon, so I will have it saved in my Amazon favorites for you guys. But if you have a big painting project ahead, definitely look into it. It just makes everything go a lot smoother and a lot quicker. And oh my gosh, as I'm watching this, I am just thinking, man, oh man, how I wish painting actually went this fast when you're actually doing it. It would be incredible if you could like speed paint and just paint your rooms this fast, you know, like 10, 15 minutes and you're done. But I would love to hear how many hours you guys think this took us from like taking everything out of the room to all the prep to painting all four walls and like this little cove area. Let me know what your guess is of how long you think this took us. And I'll let you know in the comments if you were right. Whenever you smile at me, I lose feeling all in my hands and feet. So distracted, I can't keep track of time. Think I got a rush on ya. Yep, I got a rush on ya. The glimmer in your eyes gets me every time. Every time. Shine so bright, it leaves me blind. It leaves me blind. I could lose myself inside your mind but your heart is where I find it think I gotta rush Okay, so we are done with coat number two. So this one actually looks pretty good, but there's a few spots we will have to just do one more coat. And then on this side, it's a little bit thinner. And so, oh, there you go. So we will have to do a third coat for sure. And hopefully we can just do that thick enough that it won't need anymore. And then we do still have to do our second coat inside this room. So what the previous owners had done was they just did like this as their one accent wall and then continued like the blue, the light blue in there. But I think we're actually gonna try to do the dark blue on both. And that way it'll almost look like a pillar right here. I don't know, I think it'll look nice. But either way, we are opening up our second can of paint to do the last coats. <laughs> color in that last 
clip where I was showing you the progress that we were making. That color is so bright green. We have always wanted to change that bathroom and wanted to go in there and paint and just kind of do a makeover on that space. And so it's always been on our list to change it. But especially now that we've made the room a little bit more neutral and a little bit more high-end feeling, that bathroom sticks out so, so much to us. So I think it has kind of moved up on the list and hopefully we'll be doing that early on in January because now every time you walk in there, you just see the green like bouncing off the white walls and it's driving me a little bit crazy. are finally done with all of the white. It's taken us several hours, but I really am loving it. I feel like it feels a little bit stark in here right now, but I mean, we have like the flooring covered up with the light mud cloth. So once we bring like our darker couch in and you know, like some furniture and we're able to decorate the walls and things like that, I think it's gonna look incredible. But now we're gonna go ahead and tackle this wall. This one is going to be a lot easier, one, because it's just one big wall as opposed to like several, especially with this little open area with like all the nooks and crannies. Also, it's going to be just like a darker color and so we're not having to cover a darker color with a white. That's always tricky. So we did have to do a lot of the alabaster coats on here, but this one I'm sure will take like one, maybe two coats, but let's go ahead, transition to blue or navy and get painting. So I cannot believe how close this color is to the poppy seed color that we chose to use in our accent wall in our basement in Utah. When we were deciding on paint colors for this room, we had actually talked about doing something totally different, just like something that we hadn't really done before. And in the end, we just knew that this is what we really loved, especially at this point in time. We just really loved this color and we loved how it worked in our theater room in Utah. And so we kind of wanted to replicate that here. So we ended up going with something that was familiar to us and just something that we knew we already loved. But I would love to know if you are a creature of habit or if you're someone who always wants to try new things. Like once you've done it once, you just want to do something new and just always be trying new things. I feel like I kind of fall in the middle of that. I'm not really afraid to try new things, but it's definitely comfortable to just stick with what you know. For example, the couches that we got in our living room downstairs, those were totally out of my comfort zone and we've ended up loving them. They've worked out so, so great in our living room down there. That was something really new for me, but I love that. And then in this space, I just wanted comfort. I think that's what we kind of craved in here was just that comfort, that familiar feeling. And so I love that we ended up going with something kind of similar to what we did in our Utah home.
Okay, we are finally done painting my shirt. <laughs> Looks like we've been painting all day. This is thankfully my paint shirt, so I did not make that mistake again, but I love how it turns out. So we will go ahead and just bring like our furniture and everything, and I think that will kind of break up all of the white on these walls because it is a bit bright, but that's what the space needed. It was just like kind of, I don't know. It needed a little bit of freshness in here. And this is not the exact same color that we used in Utah. We used poppy seed in Utah. And this color is hail navy. But it's basically the same, just by a different brand. And I love how it turned out. It actually just like makes me feel like we're in Utah again in our basement. And we loved our basement. If you guys have been around for a long time, you know where we like totally did our basement. It was completely unfinished when we moved in. And we just made it exactly how we were wanting. And then once we were all finished with it, we painted an accent while the same style color. And so it just totally makes us feel like all the feelings of our basement in Utah. We love that space. So anyway, I'll turn you around, give you some shots, and then we will bring all the furniture back in and probably call it a night because it's, I think, like 7 o'clock at night now. So it's been a long day, but so worth it. It just made such a huge difference. What's your name? So I'll know I'll never be the same. Oh, you've been changing me. Been trying so hard not to play the fool. To do you know it's beautiful? Oh, you've been changing me. Just take some time, but little by little, yeah, we'll get it right. So stay tuned because I am going to be sharing some different shots in daylight. I did just want to give you a quick view of this before we put all the furniture back in, but in the daylight you can totally see what it truly looks like and I could not be happier with how everything turned out in here. And as I said earlier, you can just already see how big of an impact the paint has made in here. Just take some time, little by little, yeah we'll get it right. Oh, So you'll see in a minute, but we are actually not putting together the couch right away just because we want to make sure that we get the TVs put back where they go and then Kyle has to adjust the projector and just make sure that that fits properly and it's all set up right. So we wanted to do that before putting the couch back together and that way it was just a little bit easier with having the step stool out and everything. But I did want to mention because I do always get comments whenever we come in this room, we have two TVs on the wall because Kyle and I actually play video games together. We have done this for years, like back when Kyle was in the military and we lived really far away from family. 
We used to play video games together because one, I got into it and it was a lot of fun and Kyle was already interested in video games. And then also we didn't really have the money or access to babysitters and so it was just the perfect like at home date night. It was fairly affordable. And so we used to play with each other in different rooms with headsets, but now that we have a theater room, we just have them side by side and we're able to play on the same couch together. And it's just a lot of fun. And now that our boys are getting older, they're starting to play video games as well. So it's just kind of like a whole fun family affair. But anyway, that is the reason that we have two TVs side by side. She hates the sound that goodbyes make. She loves Sundays and champagne. She can't stand the winter. She can't stand anything that she can't change. And she can't change. That was a long day. We're done. Done. Oh, it looks so good though. Done, done, done. It is much better. I love it. Much better than it was. she wants to be she's a little of everything mixed up so tall in a beautiful way she is whatever she wants to be she is a little of everything okay so it is the next day i'm up in the theater room and i'm actually going to turn you guys around and show you what everything's looking like now that we have like some daylight coming in but I love this room so much. It is totally giving us like Utah basement vibes. We love it. I just feel like the white has just brightened everything up in here and made it feel really fresh. I will say, I think that now that this is white, it's really begging for like maybe some shelving on either side of the couch. Or we also kind of talked about putting like wood shelf right here like a long one along the back of the couch and that way we could put like drinks or kind of whatever up there or even decorate it i don't know so we've kind of talked about that so if you guys have any ideas on that let me know and then the other area that i think really stands out now is actually up here and i think that's because we carried this accent wall and so because of that you have this little beam right here or whatever that kind of goes, brings your eye up, and then you kind of focus on that. So I think we'll end up adding like a sign or something to that area, but like I said, I'm gonna turn it around and show you what it's looking like, but I love it so much. It was totally worth all the work. You were sitting in the front seat. I was staring, I was caught up in the glory. Till the night started turning into morning, and I was hoping you would never leave. Bony there in a secret. I was hoping, I was praying you were leaving. You can do better, and I think that you can see it. I think it's time for me to make a move. Cause we both know this is not the way you talk to just a friend. I won't miss my chance. I know you might break me if I say what's on my mind. Okay, so we are in or on our balcony. This is the picture that we're going to put on the wall. We shared this, like this little makeover area in several videos back, so you might remember that. But we basically just took some extra furniture that we had from our downstairs patio and kind of made it work up here and we have loved this space. I think Kyle specifically and actually Luke love this space so much. They're always hanging out up here, especially now that like the weather is perfect. But I'll turn you around and show you this space and then we're just kind of deciding where we want the picture on the wall. We can always move it, but we're kind of deciding if we want it like directly over the couch or if we want it kind of more centered in 
like on the rug, like in this area. So anyway, I'll turn you around and give you a good view. I know everything is ruined Can't go back to what it was cause it's moving I'll be holding on to you or I'll be losing every memory So as usual, I am using Velcro command strips these work so well on traditional walls, and I'm not really sure how they're going to hold up on stucco, but we wanted to try this before drilling into stucco, just since stucco can be a little bit tricky. And I will say that so far it's holding up really well. It hasn't fallen down or anything or loosened that we've seen, but the trick to using command strips and making them stick is really taking your time and making sure that once you get it set up on the wall that you actually push into the frame. It takes about 30 seconds per strip, just really pressing that onto your wall, but it helps create a really good connection between the command strip and your wall and it's so worth that extra time just to make sure that your picture is stable on your wall every word you say is thunder don't worry love take your time because i know this is out of my hands i know this is out of my hands baby i know this This is one of those like really like pretty small things that makes a big impact. I feel like this space has definitely been missing something and it totally just feels complete now. I love it. All right, the last thing that we really want to get done, we're actually out on our patio. Again, we did a video on like how we set everything up. It's very bright, so it's probably kind of hard to see on camera. On this back wall, I love this picture. I thought it was so pretty, this print, but it doesn't fill up the space. And so we've kind of gone back and forth on like whether we want it to be just like more decor stuff or something functional and we're finding that we have a hard time with towels here so i wanted to go ahead and put like towels up or like towel rod or towel rack or towel hooks i don't know whatever <laughs> up on the wall but we wanted something that was kind of sucked up because this is our master bedroom and so we're always like coming out in and out of the pool that way so we wanted something like very low profile so I found some actually very similar to the ones that we had at our front door in Utah for our coat hooks so I have two of them and they're just kind of like vertical hooks so one will go on that side and then one will go on this side so we're gonna go ahead and get those put up and honestly we have changed like this will have changed like three different spaces in our house and it's just feeling so good On my mind, and I know the risk I'm taking. See the air, so it's goodbye. But I'm lost in the eye and wonder. I'm surrounded on every side. Every word you say is thunder. Don't worry, love, take your time. Cause I know this is out of my hands. I know this is out of my hands, baby.
Your shape's so perfect. Yeah, you got me like ooh, 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 ooh. Just scan a bit like the finest. So this is going to be everything for today's video. We got so much done and it just feels so good to get these areas kind of finished and checked off our list. But I would actually love to hear from you guys. What videos would you like to see the rest of December? Let me know if you'd like to see like a cleaning video, if you have company coming this holiday season, or if you'd love to see new recipes, other house projects that we can check off our list. Whatever you would like to see this holiday season, just let me know in the comments and I can do my best to share those videos with you guys. As always, thank you so much for being here. I'm so incredibly grateful for you guys. And if you're looking for some cleaning motivation or looking for new recipes or interested in seeing some of the home makeovers we've done, I'm going to leave a playlist right here for you guys so you can go ahead and check that out. But I hope you have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.